Automation is the ability to automatically control a parameter over time. For example, you might want to change the panning of a particular sound over time to move it from the left speaker to the right speaker and make it sound like it's moving. Or maybe you want to control the filter cutoff of a particular synthesizer to make the synth sound like it has a wobbling effect. These kinds of things are accomplished via automation. And let's go ahead and take a look at how to accomplish this in Amp Studio. So in Amp Studio, we have over here these little automation symbols on our tracks. And if we click one, it's going to say show automation if you highlight over it. And we've got two of them that if you're in the free version of Amp Studio, you'll be able to automate the volume and pan. If you want to automate parameters in the device chain, you're going to need a premium account. So first, let's take a look at automating some panning, perhaps. So here I've got a hi-hat, and right now the hi-hat sits right in the middle the entire time. And so what would be kind of cool is if we had the hat move around a little bit just to give a better sense of space. So I'm going to go to the automation icon and I'm going to choose pan. It inserts a line here and if I click I can add a point. The way automation works when we're in the middle is we're going to be panned hard left. So it sounds like we're coming out the left and then if we go down to the bottom we'll be out hard right. So we're going to start here in the middle so that we sound like we're in the middle of everything. And then maybe right here, I'll go up a little bit and sound like we're moving a bit to the left. And then we'll come back down and go a little bit to the right. And then we'll come back over here to the middle-ish. And this is going to make it sound like the hat is moving around a little bit. And this can really help make it easier to identify things in the mix and add clarity to your sound. Now we could of course dial it up, maybe that's a little too subtle for your taste. We could get a little crazier and have it come down maybe even sooner and have it come up a little bit sooner. And this is what it would sound like if we were a little more extreme. And that is adding automation. Now we could of course get a little bit crazier. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the one I had before. I like what this brings to the table. It's very easy to overdo automation. But when you're brand new, just go crazy. Do it until you can really hear what it's doing and then dial it back to what you would consider a tasteful amount. To hide automation once you're done, just go ahead and click on the automation icon and go to hide automation. The automation is still there. If we go back, we can see panning has been highlighted and it's still here. It's just this is how you can go back to looking at the audio or the MIDI. So let's go over to our lead sound here and something interesting that can be to automate on lead sounds is their filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Volt and in here we've got a filter cutoff right here. And this could be a really fun parameter to go ahead and move around. So I'm gonna go over to the automation icon. I'm gonna to go to add parameters and we've got our different effects in the chain. So I have a distortion, a reverb, and then the synth, the Volt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to come to the Volt synth and I'm going to look for the filter one cutoff, part one, cut off right there. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. And then from here, I can go ahead and now select it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of our way. So when this is at the bottom, when our points at the bottom, it's going to be like the filter cutoffs at the bottom. And so what we could do is we can go ahead and bring a filter up and then bring it back down like before. So here it was before. So we can use this to add musical accents to our, our melodies versus we could do that again right here it sounds kind of cool maybe we'll do a longer one and then come back down come back down again maybe a smaller one and then right here maybe that was a bit much maybe i'll dial it back some And in that way, we can really begin to make things pop out and stand out and have notes that should stand out and be more musical do that. That's how you do automation in Amp Studio. Down in the description, there is a link to a project that has another example of automation and some creative uses for it. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. All right, so here we are in the example project that's linked down below. It sounds like this. And 
And if you ever want to know what's being automated, simply just click on the automation icon and you can see that we are automating the filter LFO rate. So if we go ahead and open up the synthesizer, we can see here that we've got an amplifier with an LFO. However, this LFO is not being used. All the values are at zero. And if we look a little closer, it says filter LFO. So if we go to the filter page, we can see that this is the LFO that is being automated. So if we play this sound, we can actually try out maybe a different waveform to get a different effect. So this project's down below for you to go ahead and experiment with. Changing the LFO to control a filter cutoff, which is what's happening here, you can almost view as a tiny kind of automation. We would call this a modulation when, when a parameter is automatically controlled by something, in this case, a low frequency oscillator. And then when we control some aspect of it over time, we call that automation. But it's, it's essentially the same idea. Here we have an oscillator automatically controlling the filter cutoff, and we're controlling a piece of the oscillator that's controlling the filter cutoff. And these kinds of patterns can really make some interesting sounds that can be extremely musical. If you have any questions about automation, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you make something cool with Amp Studio, go and give Amp Studio a try. If you make something cool, feel free to drop it down below and show your amazing mastery of automation. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.